Okay, July 29th, continuing. Um, I got the bird out of the uh, <clears throat> out of there. Basically, what I did here is I had an issue with uh, cardinals uh, and other birds pecking at my tomatoes, and so what I did is I put some netting over the top of this, and I thought I sealed it pretty well. I've actually got clips that go all the way around. Um, as you can see, there's a chicken wire goes up about four feet, and then I've got the netting on top of that. And I had it like this for a week or two without any issues, and apparently some bird still was managed to get in there. So, uh, but he's out there, he's out now. So, anyway, the tomatoes are doing really well. You can see this one on the corner is especially doing well. And this was more the, the one that went vertical, and it was pruned better than the other one, so it was less bushy and there's more fruit on it. So I'm going to try to do that again next year. The other thing I'm going to do next year is I'm not going to do five, five pots. Um, see, there's four pots here and there's one in the center. I'm going to do four pots, like these other big ones over here, these 25-inch ones. I'm going to do four, and that way I don't have as much congestion. Uh, the one in the middle here is just, um, it's creating issues as far as just being able to service the plants and uh, do maintenance on them. So I'm going to do four instead of five next year. Um, <clears throat> so you can see they're doing real well. Um, the other thing I've been doing is I've been uh, harvesting these when they turn orange. That way there's less possibility of them getting, attracting birds to peck them. So I'll probably pick, there's several on this one I'll pick probably today. So they're doing pretty good. But you can see like on this side, it's just that it's so overgrown that I can't even see inside to see if there's, to see if there's uh, ripe ones. So, and then the, uh, the good as gold sweet peppers. Um, I've got a lot of peppers on these plants. They're doing um, well as far as their production, but they do have an issue with these leaves turning yellow. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I don't know what the issue is with these guys. They all seem to have it. It's kind of like the leaves turn, start to turn yellow and then they fall off. <clears throat> but you can see them like on this one's got multiple multiple peppers um, this plant probably has 10 10 or 15 peppers on it so there's gonna be good production this year I just wish I knew what the issue was with the, the leaves whether it's a nutrition I've been using tomato tone um, and nitrogen I've been using them uh, composted manure so I don't think it's a lack of food or minerals I'm not sure what it is and I'm a little afraid to use the mancozebon because they're the leaves are a little more tender so maybe I'll try a diluted form of mancozeb on these see what happens <clears throat> um, the beans are just going crazy absolutely crazy they've never been this big before um, and I can't even eat these fast enough is the way they're producing. You can see up there there's some ones that are turning yellow, so I'll just harvest those for seeds for next year. Um, but yeah, the beans are going crazy. Uh, <clears throat> I got mint here, and then thyme over here is doing real. I'm going to be harvesting thyme pretty soon. The oregano, again, is continuing to do well. Over here, this is my experiment um, with this more shaded area. And this, these are turning out really nice too. This was a ginger and turmeric. And these are tropical plants that like a little more shade. So I put the screen over them to kind of diffuse the sun and that seems to be good. They seem to really like this. And I water these almost daily and sprinkle the water on their leaves and I seem to really like it. And there's also a couple of tomatoes here and they're doing really well. And I think the tomatoes are actually helping to shade like this uh, turmeric plant. I think that's good for both of them. The uh, tomato is actually pushing out on the other side into the sun, which I guess is to be expected. And um, I did get a nice tomato off this already. 
So it's probably going to produce, it won't produce as much as the other ones because it doesn't have as much sun. But it's still doing pretty well. So that's it um, on the garden. Uh, everything's going pretty good. Like I said, the, um, the nice thing about this year, uh, the other thing I did with the, with the tomatoes is I treated with Mancozeb at the very beginning. Um, and that seemed to forestall any issues with, uh, with blight. Um, and so I've been doing every two weeks, I treat whether it looks like it needs it or not. And I'm also feeding every two weeks. And this is the result, is massive growth and lots of nice quality tomatoes. I had a couple of tomatoes that had the, um, the, uh, end, the end rot thing, the calcium deficiency. But out of, you know, 30 or 50 tomatoes, I've only had maybe a handful that had the blossom end rot. So, uh, hasn't really been a problem. So, that's it. Everything's looking pretty good. And uh, maybe we'll do another update in about a month or so.